Hi everyone. Scorpio, how are you doing? My opposite sign, I'm a Taurus sun sign. Hasn't it been interesting with Uranus and Taurus, you guys seem to be getting shifted and shaken and exactly the same, but opposite. I'm watching it with the Scorpios in my life. It's been intense for you guys, more intense than normal. Normally you're the one in charge of the intenseness, but I actually think the intenseness is starting to get a little bit out of hand here. It's the energy I'm picking up for you guys. You normally got your hands on the reins. You're normally in control of the whole, the whole shebang. But I think that at the moment, it's literally the whole shebang's blowing up in front of you. And you just, you just, what the hell? You know, you're at the other end of the intensity. Okay. You're drawing stuff to you, however you're thinking at the moment. No matter what you think you're drawing to, you are absolutely incredibly magnetic. Sorry about the sounds in the background. See the agitation, the build-up sound? I thought the machine was over. Isn't that fascinating? I thought the drama was over. And my whole house is shaking. Does yours feel like your whole foundation is shaking? Fascinating. I thought that machine was over. I bet you sort of thought that it was all over. But here comes the shake, hey? Okay? All right. Oh, hold on to your hat, Scorpio. Let's see what you got. Hmm. I'm doing this reading on Mother's Day, but it's really appropriate to do the water signs. Scorpio. <laughs> ah, now that machine stop, it's going to go beep, 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 and it's going to keep on annoying us for about four or five times. So there's, there's, there's annoyances, there's shaking, there's things that aren't planned, there's things that you didn't think would happen. Listen to it, it's going to do that. It's just, what a, how I feel is bedlam. Bedlam? Is that how you're feeling? Bedlam. Dark night of the soul. Yeah. Ah, oh, the first awakening into spirituality is like absolute ecstasy. You've never felt connected and one with everything. But for everything, there is the other side. The yin, the yang, the light, the dark. So spirituality journey that first pivotal rise to ah inevitably has a steep afterfall straight afterwards it's very hard to maintain that it's like first love you know everybody would love to be in love that first love well maybe everybody you know that absolute spark for a long time but I think you need to, this is earth, this is a world of duality, light and dark. So here, this school teaches us duality. So we sort of come out of a, a fog, a spiritual fog when we start to, when we awaken. And we think it's going to be eternal, how could it not be? This feeling is incredible, I understand, I get it, and I'm, I'm learning and everything's flowing and everything's happening. And then stuff doesn't flow and stuff doesn't happen. Ah, the dark night of the soul. Life brings new meaning. Sadly, through this life too, the Buddha say life is suffering. Sometimes through our hardest moments is where we get the most enlightenment. Looking back at how we've been treated and we've treated others, the darkness that's enveloped our souls because we are of this earth, we are of this earth, but also highly spiritual beings. So during this time of feeling like you're literally falling, that's what I picked up on your energy, you literally feel like you're falling and no one's there to catch you. That 
is the first card in the tarot, the fall, off you go, off the side of the cliff. But I love these cards so much. Uh, so it's time to sit back and open your intuition. And you may have actually really truly thought that your intuition recently has completely read you astray. Wait a second, I was on this spiritual path and everything was going really well and I had I had my purpose and everything and now everything's falling apart. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know who to turn to. I don't, what do I do? Hey, that's the ego speaking. You need to sit back and actually allow intuition to come in. You need to quiet the mind. Very difficult. When you're in the dark night of the soul, because the mind can completely take over. The mind is mire, getting stuck. Rumination, you can end up going over the same situations over and over and over and over and over and over again in your head, justifying your righteousness or justifying situations. It can literally drive you feeling like you're literally going nuts. It's time to get out of the head and into the body. I know because how many, any spiritual person will tell you there's not one not dark night of the soul. It's, 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 a, it's, it's this. So with each one, the high, the low, the high, the low. And eventually the more practiced and the more enlightened you get, the more you come down the middle. So it's incredibly important now, particularly if you feel like you're literally falling from a height that you couldn't believe you'd ever reach, let alone ever fall from. It's now time to act with extreme care. During this time is when a lot of negative people around you can really start to come in and, and you feel like you're actually getting attacked from all and sundry. Pull your energy back into you. You may want it being Scorpio. Hey, that tail's coming out. Wait a second. You guys need to be put in your place. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm not in a good place here. Leave me alone. Leave them. Don't react. If they come, if anybody comes at you at the moment and tells you whatever, just go, yeah, great. That's your life. See you later. Thanks. Thank you. Come again. That's another one of my favourites. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Act with care, though. Care for yourself. Don't get involved in all the drama. Step away from the drama. Whether it's drama that you've actually created or people in your life are creating for you, step away from the drama. You need to move forward with an incredibly open mind. You need to not get stuck in the mind. Okay? I'm going to pull some tarot for you guys. Sorry, my dogs are... Telling me they want their breakfast. Uh, so yes, there's always there's lots of things coming at you, and I think because you haven't been able to actually sit still for a second and actually figure out what is going on, what do I need to do? You're reacting, you're reacting, you're reacting, you, and people are drawing you into drama. You you may feel like you haven't been acting with care. You might feel. Like others don't have an open mind at the moment. They're not seeing your perspective. Don't try and convince them. Forget them. For now, it's time to look after number one. Here you are, beautiful page of cups in a child. All right, so you're in a child's basically telling you Sorry, oh, sorry about the dogs. Inner child's basically telling you, wait a second, you had an idea for your life. Okay? The inner child's got an idea of how to break you out of this. Sorry, I've just got to settle my dogs. through the camera I'll have to check yes what we're saying yes you and a child's got an idea of how to break yourself out of this or maybe and you just want to play at the moment and, and 
what the world's getting down on you. But um, what needs to happen right now is you need to stop focusing on everybody else. I took a big break because that needs to settle in. What other people think of you doesn't matter. What you think of you does. Whatever you're telling yourself is how you feel, okay? Don't listen to other people's opinions. Don't get involved. Step back for a sec. Go within. Really check in with your intuition. Be childlike. Maybe sit down and do some painting. Really good way to check in. Doodle. Mm. Nice cup of tea while doing it. Check out. Just do something, you know, colouring in, anything. Hey, It's the time to get the reins in your own life. Not let everybody else tell you what you should be doing but it's also not time to go out there and try and prove yourself to them either hey really isn't mm. it's really not stop trying to go out there and prove them wrong or prove yourself right or mm -mm. Wow. <laughs> you literally feel like you've come to the end of it. I've given it everything I've darn well got in this situation and I just got no more. Hey? You've given it every darn thing you've got. And you literally feel like everyone has turned on you and used their sword whether straight through your heart or straight through your back maybe one person to put it through your heart and the rest was did it behind your back that's how you're feeling ten events ten years anyway it's been a long time and this type of going down deep I think it's where you're most comfortable. And you may not have realised just how deep you can go. So you may literally feel like you are that deep. You are in the depths of the deepest ocean and nobody even knows you're down there. But you're the only one that can live down there. Thrive down there make yourself a nice little comfortable place down there the only thing is remember to focus on you while you're there gather that little kid inside hold that little kid particularly on mother's day whether you're a male female whatever doesn't matter the nurture is what I'm picking up on. Hold that little kid and tell them you're going to be all right. Because you know you're going to be all right. Because if you can go through this, hey, and you will survive and you will thrive. Don't worry about that. That's what you guys do. We'll find a way. You can survive anything. I'm going to get you an affirmation. I'm going to realise how strong you are, Scorpio. Act with care though, hey? Back away from them. Back away. Don't worry about them. They're just other humans, you know? We're all got, we all make mistakes. Hey? And don't beat yourself up about your own. You know, everyone makes mistakes. Focus on loving you. I learn to love myself. Scorpio, I become powerful. Hey, okay? Love myself. I do not need to wait until I become perfect. 
before I love myself. Exactly. What is perfect? You're going to be perfect in someone else's eyes. You're going to be perfect mum. You're going to be perfect father. You're going to be perfect child. You're going to be perfect employee, a perfect boss, whatever. Who says? What is perfect? All right. Loving myself is the quickest way to create a wonderful life. This is all about loving you and not listening to what people think of you. I live and work in comfort, ease and beauty. My home is a reflection of me and I choose to make it a wonderful place to live. It's your choice. Everything in this is your choice. I'll read these quickly because they came out in the group. With every breath I take, I'm getting healthier and healthier. Mm, here, here. <laughs> there you go. Interesting. So I thought I'd taken this out of the deck. Obviously, I hadn't. This is Louise Hayes' deck. Um, uh, How to Love Yourself cards. Absol oh, I just love I love Louise Hay. In the bottom here, it says, In the vast infinity of life, all is perfect, whole, and complete, and so are you. There you go, Scorpio. That's what needed to come from that. Everything I need comes to me in perfect time, including understanding and in, on this situation and even the times of the dark. Mm -hmm. I listen with love to my body's messages. Your body's telling you that it really needs to rest and take some time to really look after you. You need to really, really, really look after yourself with care and love at the moment, okay? You need to move forward with a completely open mind. Get that mind focused on love and light. Open your mind back up. Remember the innocence of childhood. It'll help you get the reins. But I'll also leave you with just the vision of this card. Galactic healer. This is healing energy straight up from this card. It blows me away. Move forward with an open mind, Scorpio. Love you so much, hey. I really hope that helped. Bye for now.